everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to cover the Dojo Loach or the Weather Loach. I just received 10 of these total. I have five albino, which are a bit smaller. They're maybe two, three inches. And then I have five, which are considered regular. And those are a bit bigger, four to six inches. And they are an amazing fish. I have heard so much about these fish that they're the most entertaining, they have the most personality, and I would agree. They are super cool, super active, um, just a joy to have, and it's so nice to have fish back in this tank. If you follow the channel, you know I used to have a massive stock list in here of large African American cichlids, and I was ready for a change, so I got rid of everything. And I just recently added fish after having mystery snails and cherry shrimp in here. I did rehome um, a bunch of the cherry shrimp and some of the snails. There's still a couple snails in here that I'm actually rehoming still. Dojo loaches will eat snails. And um, I haven't seen them attack any. There's only, I think, three in here that weren't already I had a few that died before I got the dojo loaches so anyways that looks fine as of now but yeah they're really cool fish uh, they are a bit actually cold more cold water so you keep them between um, 65 and 75 people typically say um, so I have my tank down to or I know I think they say 76 I have it right at the top at 76 because I am going to get some other fish in here that do like warmer water so i'm going to keep them at the high end of their spectrum at 76 degrees and they're very peaceful great community fish um, you know they will eat anything that fits in their mouth which is true for any fish you get a goldfish and you, you get a big old eight inch goldfish and you put in a little tiny neon tetra and it's going to get um, eaten so um, but yeah they're very active they like to be in groups and this is a 120 gallon tank so it's plenty of space for them but if you were just to have one i would say a 20 gallon would be minimum and uh, they do get between four to six inches there have been reports of people getting them to grow much larger up to a foot so be prepared for that it is certainly possible i suspect in a tank this big i'm going to get a few that are eight ten inches long we'll see what happens but as far as food, they're very, they're not, uh, they're not picky at all. They'll eat flake, blood worms, uh, krill, any kind of frozen foods. They'll pretty much eat anything you throw in the tank. And, um, yeah, they are very hardy. They do breathe air. So they will come up and grab some air every once in a while. And so they, they technically uh, can live in really poor water conditions of course you don't want to keep poor water conditions so that your fish don't get diseases etc um, yeah so overall uh, now one of my all-time favorites first time I've ever kept them I'm excited to see these grow especially these albino they're super tiny and super cute the kids love them um, you know you gotta love their activity level and they're just looking, you know, I did just throw some flake in, which, which uh, gets them even more excited. But they are active and, um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions about these dojo or weather loaches. Apparently the reason they're called weather loaches is they can sense um, the change in the, the, the pressure of the weather. So the storm is coming and the pressure changes, the atmospheric pressure, they will apparently start going nuts. And so if you ever have, you have a dojo weather loach, it starts going nuts. There might be some uh, serious weather coming your way. Um, but yeah, the plan for this aquarium is I'm going, I'm leaning towards giant danios. I really want to keep this tank simple. So I'm looking at uh, getting a large school of giant danios, maybe 15 to 20. Um, there is a red, little baby tiny red tail shark. That's the only other fish in here besides the betta that I had or, um, with the shrimp and the snail. The very cute little red tailed shark. But yeah, so um, I'm looking for a giant Danio school um, and then an electric blue Akara as kind of the showcase fish. And then uh, I think about like seven Bolivian ram cichlids 
just for some spunk and personality. And then I, I'm not sure, I'm either gonna do an albino bristle nose or a group of the autolinkus. I, I, I can't say it right. The auto, I think it's autolinkus maybe. Uh, the little catfish that, you know, they get maybe two, three inches and um, they're out to eating. How I'll go with those, I li I'm, I'm more and more enjoying smaller fish, like more smaller fish, you know, and like seeing them interact with the environment as if it's, you know, a larger environment. When you get a big fish, it just kind of sits, even if, you know, 120, a 120 gallon aquarium is considered a large tank, but if you get even just a 12 inch fish in here, that's just like, it actually looks pretty small. And of course, people overstock stuff all the time. I've been guilty of it. But I just, I'm leaning more and more towards seeing fish with more space and, you know, letting them, uh, getting to see what they might actually do a little bit more. Not that like this tank is, if you consider, uh, you know, even just one beta fish, this tank is too small for, you know, in terms of what they would get in the wild. But it is fun seeing everyone kind of cruise around, going through nooks and crannies and experiencing the tank in a more interactive way. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe. Uh, go ahead and hit the like button. That helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, take care, everybody.